Hello. Hi, oh my god. <laughs> Shamia. <Shemina. laughs> a solid example of social distancing, one with a musical twist. That is our Kells lead singer, Max Kerman, connecting for an online tutorial with a young fan who is absolutely thrilled. The Arkells, by the way, have been staying home to fight the spread of COVID-19, and they've been running Flatten the Curve music classes online, so fans can practice social distancing, and, of course, they can jam at the same time. How cool is that? This is cooler. Here's Max Kerman from the Arkells on your screen. He joins us all live from his home in Hamilton, Ontario. Max, great to see you, and I think I start every conversation with friends, foes, whatever, with how are you feeling during this coronavirus? What about you? H hanging in there. I'm uh, giving myself a to-do list every morning, keeping busy, and uh, the guitar lessons uh, have been probably the, the brightest part of my day. It's been and awesome. And when did that light bulb go off in your head? Hey, I think I'll teach guitar online and uh, keep people occupied. I'll be honest. I had very selfish intentions when I first started <laughs> it because I needed to keep myself busy. Usually, I have about 15 things to do every day, so I need. I had there's a a gap I needed to fill there. Uh, but it's uh, truly been amazing to get to talk to people all over the world, play a little bit of guitar, and also learn what everyone else is going through. I love the reaction from somebody who came onto your tutorial, and there you were, like, you know, the guy himself. And I was like, oh my god, it's you. What, what do you do in that case? Oh, it's great. Well, I just start asking them questions. You know, there's a young woman who's quarantined in Italy. She's a Canadian that works for the UN, and she's She's stuck inside all day, and so I had to ch ask her what it was like on the ground there. But I also gave her a homework assignment. I said, you need to learn our song, 1111, but translate it into Italian. And she called back the next day, and she sang it for us. And it was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. That's fantastic. You know what? I spoke with uh, one of our guests was in Milan. She was in her apartment, stuck there, alone, Canadian. And she said she was just going a little bit cabin, a little bit of cabin fever there. She was planning her to-do list of, you know, clean the condo and the next day clean the condo. So this is great. Are people feeling like they're getting, you know, some fun out of what is a, a terrible situation? Yeah, um, a lot of non-musicians are tuning into this as well, just because they like to see the interactions. You know, I got a chance to talk to a bus driver in uh, Canmore yesterday, and I, I could ask him what his job was like right now. We also had uh, Tyson Berry from the Toronto Maple Leafs on, because I was kind of curious to know what his workout schedule is like and what he's eating. And he's, he said he's doing about 100 push-ups a day, which I didn't think was particularly impressive, because I can do about 100 push-ups a day. Uh, he's eating some pasta with bolognese sauce. I thought that was kind of interesting. He's on the Peloton a little bit. Uh, so we're trying to get a slice of life from uh, every corner of the country and, and all across the world just to see how everyone's hanging in there. And you're getting it firsthand. Are you also watching, you know, some of the the news that's harder to digest, the numbers going up, the deaths that uh, are increasing in certain countries? Yeah, of course. I mean, that is the thing that's dominating all of our feeds right now. And um, honestly, I almost feel vindicated in a funny way because I think our band has just been talking about the importance of um, healthcare workers and teachers and all the civil servants. Mm -hmm. And this has been a theme we keep coming back to in our music over the years because truly these are the, the temples of our society. And without them, none of the fun happens. Everything we get to do as a band is because people are healthy and happy and educated. Mm -hmm. But if that doesn't exist, then it makes our job obsolete, basically. So we're, uh, we've always had that on our mind, and now it's becoming that much more obvious to everybody. So um, I, I'm, I'm really just grateful for everyone's hard work on the front lines. And I suppose, Max, as an artist, you know, things that happen in your life and around the world inspire you to make music. How is this, mm -hmm. perhaps if there's a, you know, a silver lining, inspiring you and your band to create more music? Yeah, I mean, we've had a, little, uh, a lot more time at home uh, to discuss like mixes for new songs and acoustic versions of older material. And uh, we've been, yeah, we've been sharing a lot of just like content. Bruce Springsteen put up one of his live concerts and watching that. Um, but yeah, it also just makes me think about how we, we took, you know, playing shows for granted to it. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think everybody has this sense of like, when we get let out, when we're allowed to go out and be social again, uh, we're not going to forget what it was like to be isolated and uh, just all the good things in our, in our life.
You know, I totally agree with you. Through some bad, we can learn good lessons. And there are also stories of people helping others, going to volunteer at food banks, et cetera. Does, are, are you getting that sense? And you, you know, offering your online music lessons and talking to people all over the world and Canadians who love your music, getting a chance to actually connect with you. Uh, do you think those are the stories of humanity that, that give us that, that human condition to hope? You know what I mean? For sure. You know, one of the things that I keep thinking about is, doesn't it feel like we had a lot of petty squabbling uh, no about kidding. two weeks ago that seems completely irrelevant right now? And the petty squabbling was probably in part uh, due to the fact that we all were living such rich and privileged lives. But the moment that, you know, something like this happens, we, we begin to reevaluate our priorities. And I do think there are going to be silver linings coming from this, is that we're going to be able to think about how do we want to treat each other who are the jobs, who are the people working those jobs that we should really revere and pay well and respect. And I'm not just talking about, I'm talking about healthcare officials, I'm talking about bus drivers, I'm also talking about um, people that work at the grocery store. Like they did not sign up for this job, but they are doing God's work right now. Mm -hmm. And I hope, hopefully we'll be able to move forward and, and remember that these are the most important people in our society. Yeah, and it's amazing how sometimes self-isolation and time alone uh, leads you to that kind of introspection. Things you don't normally think about, right? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I want to ask you if there's a song in particular that you can share with our viewers across the country. Um, maybe not, what, what was that? Uh, there was a song in Never Thought, Never Thought This Would Happen. No, no, no. There was another one. <laughs> Never Thought This Would Happen, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you make out with an old friend. I looked up that line. Don't do it right now. Don't make out with old friends not right now. That's, now. Not that's the time not the time for it. For it. <laughs> but um, what would you like to take us out with? You know, I think I want to play our new one because it's uh, only four chords. They're all mm -hmm. campfire chords, D, G, C, and E minor. The song is called Years in the Making, and it's this idea that, um, you know, all the bumps in the road can help inform us for what is the best move to make today. And I was thinking about the song in the context of all the healthcare workers, all the nurses, all the doctors who spend their whole life helping people and now it's their, truly their time uh, to shine. And, and we're, we're being guided by their steady hand. And uh, so I want to send it to everybody working on the front lines. All Here right. Goes. So turn the lights down low, rolling up my sleeves. Right now I'm in my zone. Put your eyes on me. I got the skies to show it didn't come for free. It's been years in the making. So put your hands up high and baby walk with me I see it in your eyes, it's something you believe You got the skies to show it didn't come for free It's been years in the making It's been years in the making Thanks for having me so I wish you the best with every wish you the best with everything you do. I know you're a Thai Cat fan, so I'll leave it with Oski Wee Wee, okay? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Max Kerman, lead singer and guitar player for the Arkells, and we reached him at his home in Hamilton, Ontario.